Okay, hi everybody again. Um, it's three days pre-op and it's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm nervous as hell. Um, in three days time I will be admitted into the Royal in Leicester. I will be having my gastric bypass at 1pm on the 14th of February 2008. Um, I am I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, but it needs to be done. Um, I do have health problems. I'm not doing this for vanity, as I've said before. Um, my main reasons are I suffer from um, PCOS, uh, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. I also suffer from sleep apnea, severe sleep apnea. I have a sleep apnea machine. I have diabetes. I have high blood pressure. Um, I can't walk very far without being in pain. I have a lovely husband and beautiful daughter and I'd love to see my daughter grow up. And I know for a fact that if I stay this size, I'll just get bigger and bigger and I won't be able to do anything. Nowadays, if I want to go out anywhere, I have to go on an electric scooter or by car. I can't walk. The last time I went on a bus was years ago. I've forgotten. I would love to be able to go in town with my daughter, but I just can't. I can't sit on the bus for long. It hurts. I haven't took this decision lightly. It's been a lot of hard work. Um, I had to prove that I was capable of sustaining the operation, that I understood exactly what it entailed, and that, you know, it's not just a whim thing, it's not just an easy fix, because no way is it easy at all. Um, the things I've got to do is, is unreal. The, the 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 diet after after the operation is not going to be easy. It's fluids for up to six weeks, basically. Um, but in all, hopefully, it will keep me alive. It'll keep me going and make me thinner. It's not that I want to be beautiful, thin, and be you know be like a pretty dolly bird walking down the street that's not me I can't remember the last time I was a size 18 I I, I try to remember I, I just can't think I can't remember at all being a size 18 it must have been when I was probably 18 when I first got married I was in a size 22 and when I got married for the second time I was in a size 24 the only time I really lost weight was when I was actually carrying my daughter and I lost quite a bit of weight when I was carrying her. But then it's all crept back on again. And here I am. 24 stone 9 pound. Due for the gastric band. I've tried different diets. I've tried Weight Watchers, Slim World, Cambridge diet, the yogurt diet, the banana diet. Rosemary Connolly's diet, the you name it diet, I've tried it. I've tried different kinds of pills and potions and nothing has worked. So that's why I was lucky enough to become to a guy that's going to be doing my operation, Mr. Ubi. Um, he is he wasn't going to do it, but he made me go away and think really hard if it was what I really wanted. And two and a half years later, after being on the list that long, I'm lucky enough to be going through surgery this week. And hopefully over the next few months you'll see my transformation from a this to somebody that's not so big. Well, there you go. That's it for now. It is, as I say, very early in the morning. Um, if you want to leave a message, please do feel free. Um, I will reply, and uh, I'll let you know how I go. Um, before, if I go between now and when I go in, I'll probably leave another message or so. So, if you're thinking about having the up out there, consider it, think about it, talk about it, have support of your family. Don't try to do it on your own because you never will. Be who you want to be. If you're happy being big, stay big. But if you're not, then do something about it. There is options. 
you can go on every diet you want and do it or you could try and do it another way all I know for me is I've tried everything and this is my last chance and I know for me it's the best choice I could ever have made well there you go that's it for me for now I'll say bye and uh, I'll do another blog later bye